Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up uploading new rows from Google Sheets to email service Benchmark Email. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new lines from Google Sheets to other systems. For example, in Benchmark Email, you can create new contacts, set up email campaigns for them, and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Google Sheets data source system. Now you need to select an action. Get rows new. At this stage you need to connect your Google Sheets account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you must specify the username and password of your personal Google account. At this stage, be sure to check all the checkboxes for access. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. Then you need to specify the file and sheet from which the data will be uploaded. In the field Start Data Loading with Row Number, you must specify the row number from which you want to start uploading data. For example, if you have 1000 rows in the table, and you do not want to transfer all these rows, you need to specify the number 999 in order to start downloading from the last one. I have two rows in my table, so I will specify two. Now you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click continue. At this stage, you see the data from the line that you specified in the settings, if everything suits you, click next. On this setting of the Google Sheets data source has been successfully completed, now you need to move on to setting up data reception. Select benchmark email as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action. Add contacts. At this stage you need to connect your benchmark email account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you need to specify the API key, in order to get it, go to your benchmark personal account. Go to the integration section. Further to the API key section. Copy the API key and paste it into the corresponding field in the Apex Drive system. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this stage, you need to select a list in which new contacts will be added with each new line from Google Sheets. Now, you see the benchmark email fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from Google Sheets to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. Note that you can use not only variables, but also write values manually. To go to the next line use enter. When all the required fields are filled, click continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to benchmark email as new contacts for each new row from Google Sheets. If something does not suit you, click edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click send test data to benchmark email. After successful sending, go to benchmark email and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. 
This completes the benchmark email data reception setup successfully. Now you need to enable auto-update and select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.